Photoshop CC 2017 video tutorials by Andy Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you a new feature, the search feature. Really useful, very good tool actually. Now first thing to do, just go over to edit and search. Now it doesn't particularly look very much at this point, you just see, oh it's like that. Search for what? Doesn't say search for anything, so just click search and straight away we will come up, I'm just going to remove what I've got there, so it will say search Photoshop. Now you can search all Photoshop itself, or learn, or stock. Now Photoshop is sort of functionality of Photoshop, which is quite nice, as well as like recent open files, which is quite useful as well. So I'm just going to go to the learn. So I'm going to say custom shapes. Just select something, custom shapes. And there is quite a few learn. Obviously most of them are going off to helpx.adobe.com. But actually, if you go through them all, I think most of them are help x dot. But it's a useful, quick way of looking for some help for custom shapes. Some obviously way back CC 2014 as well. And then stock. Now, obviously, there's not probably going to be anything of stock for that. So just go art. And I'm just going to go to stock. And there's very quickly a whole range of different stock images. Now, Photoshop. Just going to go that one, and this is just the tools. So here, art history brush, obviously with art, art board tool, art board from layers. So if I go for something like filters, or filter, I'm just going to go for filter, and then you can see a whole range of the different filters. So now, if you want, actually want to run, say, I'm going to go for emboss. Just going to go and select one of them. So I just click there and straight away it's into emboss. So you can actually run, well maybe not, but you can certainly run quite a bit of functionality of Photoshop purely from that feature there, edit and search. So you can see you've got all the other ones that are filters and they're very quickly accessible via this. Also, as I mentioned, I'm just gonna go up here and I'm gonna select art again. And, it's, and you've got the documents, so just go, and this is one of my uh, graphic extras files, arts history. So that's it. Very quick and easy and very useful tool. Now unfortunately the search feature doesn't include searching for, say, YouTube videos, etc. But it's certainly a wonderful start and very useful tool. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.